So in today's video, I'm going to talk about three different types of crypto. I'm going to talk about Shiba, Bitcoin, and Ethereum. Most importantly, I'm going to tell you how we're going to make money. Now, one of the coins to me is pretty risky, and it's the first. So we'll talk about Shiba. I'm going to get right into it and bring up the chart. Now, if you know me, you know that my predictions are on fire. If you know me, you know that I use charts for everything from stocks to crypto. So let's get into it. Okay, so I've got the chart opened. You can see I've got the five day chart on Shiba opened. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the three month chart because you can see the activity well, of smart people got in in August. Now, when I say the smart people, it's all about risk versus reward. It's all about putting your money in at the right time. If you put your money in when it spiked past 0.0000, I have to smile every time I say that, three, then you're holding heavy bags. So even if you're telling people, oh, this coin's going to a penny, this coin's going up to wherever, it's gonna double, it's going to triple. You may be right about doubling or tripling, you're definitely not correct when you say this coin is going to a penny. And I'll explain the reasoning behind that. But first, let's look at the chart. If you look at the one month chart, it doesn't really tell you. It tells you that it was peaked out the first time at around 0.0003. It tried to rebound quickly thereafter. Same thing we see with stocks, right? It spikes, it retracts, it tries it again, it retracts again, it tries it again. So again, with this crypto, I think I've mentioned this before, the number of investors in Shiba coin is under 1 million. So there are about 700, I think 70,000 current holders of Shiba coin. Let's compare that to Dogecoin, who has over 21 million holders, and Bitcoin, which I believe is north of 70 million holders. Might be like 74 million. Okay, so not that many people own Shiba coin, under a million people. Uh, let's go to the five day chart so we can zoom in and take a better look at this. Now, for me, it's all about risk versus reward. So some of you might not like to hear this. You're looking for me to say, she is going to the moon, buy Shiba, hold Shiba, diamond hands for Shiba. No, I like to make money. If you like to make money, I wouldn't be investing in Shiba. Now here's the catch, because I happen to think Bitcoin's going north of 100,000 by the end of the year. I think it's going to 118,000. That's my prediction. So if Bitcoin doubles and goes to 118,000 by the end of the year, then Ethereum has to do the same. Ethereum is like Pepsi to Bitcoin being Coke. Number one, number two. So you have Ethereum number two, which I think will go to then 7,000. Now, if Ethereum goes to 7,000, and I will show you guys the charts, but right now we're focusing on Shiba, it would be hard for Shiba Inu not to go up. It would be hard to tell you not to invest in it right now. So let me get into how to invest in it and how you're gonna make money. Personally, for me, I wouldn't touch anything over 0, 0, 0, 0, 0.258. If it's over 0, 0, 0, 0258, I don't touch it. If it goes under, I will start collecting Shiba coin. I picked up some this weekend. Now my sell point or my strategy is when it crosses 0.00033. Hasn't done it yet, that's what I'm holding for. 00033. It could take a couple of weeks, I'm not sure. But anywhere in between 00000259, all the way up, I'm not buying. I'm simply holding. When it goes below my magical number, I'm purchasing, and I suggest you guys do the same. Again, that is my strategy. I'm not a financial advisor, and everybody does their own due diligence. But I like to make money, so if you like to make money, have that light bulb moment and join me. Now, I've spoken about two other cryptos. To me, Coke and Pepsi, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So let's look at those two charts, and I'll tell you exactly what I'm seeing. So first, we're gonna open up Bitcoin. And Bitcoin has more of a chart to look at. If you saw the Shiba chart, there's no real action until within the last couple of weeks, let's say two weeks. Before that, Shiba was relatively dead. Bitcoin has a chart that you could follow. You know when it's gonna retract. You know exactly what you're looking for. 
So let's show you what I see and what I'm looking for. All right, so we look at the five-year chart and we know it looks like off the chart. Um, at this point, I was pretty sure Bitcoin was going to 157,000 before the end of the year. Now at that point, you're talking about Bitcoin just going straight up. This is before China said no. In fact, they have no energy to run and support some of their economies and local provinces and towns. All right, so let's go back from the five year and the overall picture of Bitcoin and why we think Bitcoin is going through the roof. And if I had to give a prediction for Bitcoin five years from now, I'd say we'd be north of a million dollars per coin. Okay, so then we go to the linear chart. Now what you can see is the run up from December was about 15 to 17,000. It ran all the way up to what, 39,000, 40,000, and I believe we were in January. And then remember, January ended for Bitcoin. It was a little tough. Bitcoin retracted to about 28,000 and then it exploded and it hit 63,000. I only know because I sold mine at 63,000. I said, this is ridiculous. If it goes up more, so be it. But I'm going to secure profit. After I sold mine, I bought back in too soon, but I did buy back in. I bought back in around here. I was in at 50,000 and I wrote it down. I rode Bitcoin down and then I think we went, what, sub 30 again at 29,900 or maybe it was 30,200. I was buying more Bitcoin. I am again still holding my Bitcoin. I have a little over 2.173 of Bitcoin, but I'm not selling. I'm never selling. So that's one thing that I can join the AMC apes on. I am a Bitcoin ape. I am holding my Bitcoin. I will never sell my Bitcoin again. And I suggest you all do the same thing. If we talk about the rationale why we are holding the Bitcoin, it's because there are only going to be 21.5 million Bitcoins farmed. I believe we've already farmed 18 million Bitcoin. So we've farmed nearly 83%. And the price, supply and demand, less supply, more demand, price goes higher simplified so i'm holding my bitcoin suggest you do the same bitcoin will be over 100,000 by the end of the year prediction bitcoin will be over half a million per coin in five years and 10 years from now it'll likely be over a million dollars per coin let's get to ethereum which is like the pepsi bitcoin being coke now i really like ethereum because i find there are more uses for Ethereum, there's more uses for blockchain technology, whereas Bitcoin to me is being able to um, move large sums of money without having to use banks or wire transfers basically uh, anonymously. Whereas Ethereum, you could build things, build blockchain off it, and there are more purposes in various uh, areas involve around uh, FinTech and our economy and uh, developments that occur every day. So it's important to me, more of an everyday use, Ethereum. So let's go to the Ethereum chart, which I pulled up. Again, I don't really look at the one day chart. Sure, if you're looking to swing Ethereum and you can get in, this is strategy, 3,800 and you can sell at 3,900. That's a $100 difference, which when you do the math is about 3%. So if you like making and scalping 3%, scalping means you go in, you go out. You go in, you go out. You make 3% on Monday, you wait a few days, it goes back down. You make 3% again on Wednesday, you wait a few days, you make 3% over the weekend. For the week, you could probably make 10%. So anybody that's looking to be a profitable crypto trader, you get in, you get out. You select the range or your entry point to enter. Now, for Ethereum, it's 3,800 flat, and my sell price is 3,900. And that's just short term. Let's go out to a five-day chart. Shall we look at it? Five-day chart, it looks similar to Shiba. It looks similar to Bitcoin, which is why I'm telling you, although I'm not a fan of Shiba, if Bitcoin and Ethereum and crypto go up and Doge and ADA and all those other coins, Shiba will go up too. It doesn't mean I have to like it. And when it does go up, because I am in there, I will be out at 0.000033. For Ethereum, I'm looking for Ethereum to go up. Let's just bring up the one year chart. And it reached a high of like, I think it was actually 4,500. We're approaching that soon, just like we're approaching Bitcoin highs. So if I'm making a prediction without showing you the chart on Bitcoin that it's going to double, I'm going to use that same principle, transitive principle. 
A is bigger than B, B is bigger than C, A is bigger than C. So this principle, I'm saying if Bitcoin goes up and doubles, Ethereum is going to double. Hey Matt, doesn't that mean Shiba is going to double? Certainly does. It means Shiba and a lot of your other cryptos are going to double within the next few months. So although, again, I'm not a fan of Shiba Coin, I believe it will double. So if Shiba doubles from where it is at 0.00000254, it it'll double and it'll be 0.00054. Okay, still an infinite way away from one penny. The penny is not happening. The hundredth of a penny is not happening. The one thousandth of a penny, that has happened. But you need to go up 400% to be at a thousandth of a penny. And then you need to go up 40 times to be a hundredth of a penny, 4,000 times to be a tenth of a penny. It just doesn't make sense because let's understand, Shiba was worth absolutely nothing 14 months ago. So it rose from the ashes to have value, but don't overvalue it. Now, if you enjoyed my take on crypto, please stay with me, learn with me, and grow with me.